Hey YouTube, Bird Billy here. So today I want to talk about what I have in my hiking bag. Now, I'm new to doing this, so the bag is new. The stuff I have in there is things that I think currently today, which is April 7th, 2019, things that I think that I need for my hikes. I'm curious to see in six months what this bag looks like if I even still have this bag if I don't have a different bag. So I thought it would be fun to do a video where I just kind of cover what's in the bag now because I've already learned some things and I've already pared down the bag a little bit and changed some items out and I'll talk about that as I show you the things in the bag. So first off we'll start with the bag. It's a Diamond Candy 40 liter pack. I got this off of Amazon. I want to say it was about $43. Alright so I had this pack set up how I would have it if I was going to go on a hike. In the back I have a coat which helps with rain protection and with uh, if I need an extra layer if it starts to get chilly or the wind picks up, something like that. So we're going to pop that off. Actually, you know what I want to do first off? Let's weigh it. Shipping scale. Turn it on, let it zero out. coming in at 19 pounds 5 ounces. It's going to be interesting to see in six months what my pack weighs. Now that is with water in it and some food. So it's not a base weight, but it's a total weight of what I'm carrying right now when I go out, not counting camera equipment. So let's pop the raincoat off. Set that off to the side. Underneath this pack, there is a rain cover that I can pull out and then cover the pack with if it starts to rain. It's built into the pack. On the sides of the pack are two areas where you can carry water bottles. Two water bottles. My top pouch right here is where I have my first aid kit. And I have my fire starter stuff. Now I have my fire starter stuff inside of a one quart zip bag or ziplock bag. And inside of that, the stuff that I need to keep dry or contain, like the petroleum jelly or the cotton balls, I have those inside of old medicine containers. Figure I'm getting a double layer of waterproofing here. I have an emergency mylar blanket. I have a whistle that has a canister and a compass. Inside the whistle canister, I have more cotton balls for fire starting. Ferrocium rod, uh, this is a six inch one. Inside the next pocket, I have my lunch or my dinner. In this case, it would be Southwest rice and beans. I have an extra pair of gloves. I may have mentioned in one of the other videos I was looking for gloves and I did find some and I found a great deal on them. It's the end of winter, so Home Depot was clearing out some uh, leather huskies that were like a mechanics glove but they have leather palms perfect for what I need I think so I picked up a couple of them so far I've been very happy with them this is my Camillus HT7 knife now this really isn't in a pack this is on my belt I like carrying this as my quick go-to knife it's smaller than a bush knife would normally be it doesn't have like a four inch blade so this really wouldn't be good for batoning, but for anything else, it's good for. It's good for uh, shaving wood to get little shavings or feather sticks. I made one modification to it. I took a whetstone and I ground down the back spine to make it more flat with like a 90 degree angle. And that's good for using it with a fire starter, uh, with a fire stick, ferrocium rods. So that has made this very useful for me. I've actually gone out in the woods and done a lot of stuff with just this knife, not even using my Mora Bushcraft knife. Speaking of the Mora Garberg, here she is right here. The Mora knife with the 4.3 inch blade. Beautiful, beautiful Bushcraft knife. I'm going to do a review on this. I have some coffee and some tea. And there's a spoon in there, a couple plastic spoons. I have a metal spoon. I have some... 8 o'clock coffee. Uh, this was something I was trying out for another video. So I have two coffees in there right now. I have a hat. Nice warm hat. I have an extra pair of socks. And I have a neck. I believe they call these gaiters. 
where you put it around your neck and you can have it lower pulled up over your face. It's just a fleece one. You can pick these up cheap. I love these. I have multiple of these. I have them in the car for an emergency or just uh, when I go out, especially in the winter around here, you want to have this as a backup. It's so nice be able to tuck that down your neck. You could be wearing a hoodie and a light overcoat jacket and having this in there gives you that extra layer of protection where the wind doesn't get down inside your neck and it makes you feel 10 times as warm as you would without it. So highly recommend those. I have a little paracord, a little, I believe they call that a hank of paracord. And that's it for that pocket. Inside the main compartment, I have the gloves that I'm using currently. I have wrapped up inside of a giant eagle bag. I have my cook pot, which comes with two cups in it. When I'm going out on my solo hikes, I usually pop one of these out and just carry one cup. Just cuts down a little bit of weight. This is a luxury item. I tried this out in my last video and really like it, so it's probably going to find a place in the bag, at least for the near future, and my little three cup percolator. I, I really enjoyed this and really enjoyed the coffee that it made, so like I said, for the foreseeable near future, this is going to probably find a home in my pack. I have an extra layer of protection. This is just a long sleeve, uh, like an athletic jersey or shirt but these are very warm uh, I believe this one's made by Adidas a modification to what I had in my pack is this Gerber Gourd shovel it has its own little uh, stuff sack that goes in it which I like because there's going to be dirt on here let me dump this out in the garbage so this weighs less than two pounds. I don't remember the weight on it, but it's less than what my other one was, which is why I wanted it. The shovel is not as big as most shovels are, which I actually kind of liked. I don't need a honking huge shovel. I just need something to dig a little hole to cover my fire up, or you know, if I'm going to build like a Dakota fire hole, which we'll do a video on, anything like that. Um, this is this is nice to have. Again, my mindset may change in six months or a year. But as of today, this is, a, this is an essential part of my pack. It also has a hammer head on here that you can use to hammer things with. The handle is plastic. I wasn't sure I was going to like that, but actually I don't mind it at all. Uh, we'll see how this holds up. I got this for around $20 at Home Depot. Another item that you can get at Home Depot is the East Wing Sportsman's Hatchet. They have one that's a little bit shorter than this. They have a 12 inch. This is the 14 inch. But I, I just love the fill and heft of this. When I felt it, I thought, you know what? I don't need to go any shorter than this. Uh, I actually bought this off of the rack at a Home Depot store. Didn't even need to order it online. The 12 inch, I believe you probably have to order it. But again, if you're trying to cut ounces, a 12 inch would cut ounces, but this, this just has the perfect heft to it. I've got this thing nice and sharp comes with the nylon protective cover. I can't speak highly enough of this. I know some people say they don't like having the steel handles because they like having the wood ones, the steel ones add a little bit of weight. To me, I love that indestructible feeling of this. When I'm uh, splitting wood for kindling, I set it up, I'm hitting it with another piece of wood, I'm batoning with it, and it's just, you know, if, I'm, if it kicks up like this, I can hit the handle, no worries of anything breaking really like the hatchet. Little rag. A 9 inch silky gomboy hand saw. This is for wood processing. These things are so sweet. I'm going to do a review comparing this with another saw that I had at Fiskars and uh, we'll, we'll cover that in the review. This saw is just a pleasure to use. This tiny little nylon sack right here is my camp stove. If you didn't see it, I did a video the other day on it. I took it out in the woods for the first time and made myself a cup of coffee and some dinner and thoroughly enjoyed using this. It's amazing how, how small this thing packs out and how light it weighs. It's seven ounces, I believe, or 7.3 ounces. Very lightweight, just a few parts. You snap them together and it does a great job with keeping the uh, fire going. 
So I've got that in my pack. In the back part of this main pocket, there's an area where you would probably put like a laptop or a tablet. I use that for my tarp. Right now I'm carrying, I think this is a eight, oh I don't remember. It's, this is a medium sized one. It's not a big one and it's not a really tiny one either. I want to say this is, you know what, I don't remember the size on this. It's, it doesn't matter. I use this to meal on to keep myself off the ground when I'm sitting down to have a cup of coffee. If I don't have something to sit on, I'll just pop a squat on this and, and, and sit. It's just nice to have that insulating barrier between you and the ground and it keeps the dirt off your clothes. And it gives you an area that you have that is relatively clean when you're setting up things when you're going to uh, make a little little cup of coffee or have something to eat. I really feel that this is something that I'll keep in the sack. I like having this. I have a can of bug spray, Repel uh, Sportsman's Dry. There's a small pouch right up in the back of the pack. It's just a small one. I have some Kleenex in there. I have an extra battery for my camera equipment. I have a flashlight. This is the Olight S1 baton, the mini baton light. This is my backup light. I have a headlamp I'm going to show you in a second. I have a whetstone. The one I'm carrying is made by Falkniven. F-A-L-L-K-N-I-V-E-N and it's the DC-3. If you just Google or search DC-3 whetstone it'll come up. There's two side pouches that will come up along your hips. I only am using one right now and in that I have an Ozark Trail or an Ozark Trail uh, headlamp which is more than sufficient. This is just something from Walmart, not an expensive light. Now one thing that would be in here that I didn't have would be probably another bottle of water and the reason why is if I'm going to cook and do coffee I'm going to have two bottles of water with me, one for the cooking part, one for the coffee part and then another bottle for drinking. So depending on the hike. If it's going to be a longer hike I may even squeeze in another one. I have a water filtration system that somebody gave me about a year ago. I have never used it. I'm going to try it out. Uh, it's, it's a bigger squeeze bottle type. I'm going to test it out. We'll do a review on it. I've seen some smaller ones that hikers use, so I may switch up to something like that down the road. But currently, right now, I'm just packing my water with me. I'm not doing anything crazy, no super long excursions yet. So this is more just for day hikes and, and getting out and having some fun. All right, well, that's what I'm carrying right now. If you're a hiker or a backpacker, and you've got some thoughts or comments on this and you've got some ideas for me, I would love to hear them. Please comment below. Let me know. I do read the comments. I try and stay up on all my videos. I keep the comment stream open so that I get them as they come in. I want to know what your thoughts are because if you've got a thought, it may be something that would really help me out. Maybe something I didn't think of. All right, well, as always, I appreciate you taking the time to watch this. I hope you found it enjoyable, and I'll see you in the next video.